Good evening. My name is Pete Dixit. I'm the Executive Director of the Department of Facilities Management and Strategic Planning for Baltimore County Public Schools. I want to welcome you to the first of two community engagement forums to support the Southeast High School Study. As you'll recall, last year, a consultant conducted a comprehensive study of all BCPS schools called My iPass, Multi-Year Improvement Plan for All Schools. This study provided recommendations to improve the physical condition, educational equity, and adequacy and enrollment projections of all schools in Baltimore County. As part of this study, the next step in the process was to further evaluate, take a deeper dive, and come up with the specific options proposed by my IPAS for high schools in the Southeast region. A consultant, Johnson Merriman Thompson, known as JMT, has been selected following the board policy and rule 3250. We have shared all of the previous studies that have been completed for the Southeast area by different consultants and any other informa information that we had. Using this information, combined with their experience, JMT has created a list of potential options to improve facility capacity, condition, and adequacy issues which JMT will share with you tonight in a presentation. Consistent with the desire of Dr. Williams, our superintendent, the county executive, and school board, community participation is vital to this important process to maintain transparency. In the interest of time, please type any questions or feedback during the presentation into the chat box. When the presentation is complete, there'll be a chance for JMT and us, members of BCPS team, to answer questions from the chat box. With that background information, I request JMT to start their presentation. Thank you, Pete. Good evening, my name's Dave Risha. I'm vice president with JMT Architecture. To my left. Uh, I am Mark Hadley, the Site Resources Civil Engineer uh, for the study. I am Bill Novian, Senior Associate Architect at JMT Architecture. The Baltimore County Public Schools and the My iPass study have identified three high schools in the southeast area that are, address overcrowding, facility conditions, and educational adequacy. This study, the one we're talking about tonight, has been undertaken to determine the possible solutions to relieve this issue and enhance the learning environment for the students, teachers, and staff. This is a slide taken from the My iPass study. It's their group two analysis where they identify Dundalk and Patapsco as having needs for seating. A Dundalk, because of its, its the dire need for seating, is on the a capital improvement plan already, and we'll be talking about Patapsco as the presentation moves on. This is also from the My iPass study, and it's from their group, group three, which identifies both the northeast and the southeast uh, areas and the needs there. And in the south, southeast areas, uh, Sparrows Point High School and Sparrows Point Middle School are, are notably uh, to be studied. This study is going to be conducted in, in two parts. First, we're going to document the existing conditions and the constraints at each school. We're going to identify the opportunities at each site or nearby sites to solve the problem. Secondly, we're going to evaluate the opportunities to determine which ones are viable and identify the pros and cons of each solution with regard to the impact to the students and the community. So here's a diagram showing the three high schools that are in question. Patapsco High School, Dundalk High School, which we already said is in the Capital Improvement Plan, and Sparrows Point Middle and High School. Those are the three, three high schools that really are the basis for this study. 
So what are our strategies for the development options? Well, we have an, a, several of them. Utilize the available developable land associated with each school. We can utilize land associated with other schools throughout through redevelopment. We can utilize land owned by Baltimore County. We can purchase and utilize land privately owned if that's available. And most importantly, we want to seek the community input. We've looked at the area and we looked at the schools in the area and we've identified these. Of course, the three high schools are part of this study, but to go through the list, General Stricker Middle School, Patapsco High School, the North Point Government Center is a site we've, we're looking at, Sparrows Point Middle and High School site, Edgemere Elementary School, Chesapeake Terrace Elementary School, and of course Dundalk High School. The development for these, for these study options. The goal is to develop a comprehensive approach to improve the learning environments for the students, faculty, and the community in the Southeast area. How we go about this is we reviewed the MyPass study to identify the schools, all the schools in the area that are facing overcrowding, facility challenges, and educational adequacy. We've also reviewed the enrollment records and capacity ratings for all of these schools. We've reviewed the previous community input and, and comments that have been made, and we've identified possible sites for, this, for the development. Through this process and through these evaluations, the design team has identified six potential options for this study. The resultant SRC, state-rated capacity, for each school may vary with the development of the option and its impact on the remaining schools in the southeast area, meaning that we've identified these, these options, but we're not sure yet what can be done on each site? We may, we may be shooting for a particular SRC. We may gain more than that. We may not be able to get, gain any of that. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be in, in motion while we go through this evaluation. So option number one, and all of this will be on the website after, after the presentation, so you, you don't need to take notes, as a teacher would say. Um, but we're gonna go through this one by one so option number one, we're going to construct, we'll look at constructing a replacement elementary school on the Edgemere property for both Edgemere and Chesapeake Terrace. Both of those elementary schools would be combined into one. We would construct a middle school on the Sparrows Point, on the, for Sparrows Point at the Chesapeake Terrace site. And then finally, we would renovate and add additions to Sparrows Point High School once the students, the middle school students, have moved to their next facility, and then construct additions at Patapsco High School. And that's a common thread. The Patapsco High School is a common thread throughout these, these six options. So here we have, we, I've identified in option one, Patapsco High School, Sparrows Point Middle and High School, Edgemere Elementary School, and Chesapeake Terrace Elementary School. So the first step in option one is to see if we can fit a new replacement school on the remaining portions of the site. As you see, this is the Edgemere site. In yellow, the dashed line represents the property line. You can see the existing building, the ball fields. So we have some area to work with. The way a replacement school works is, of course, that we would design a project that would go on the available site that project would be occupied and then the existing building would be removed and either if fields that were taken up by the new school would be put back in its place or it would be reorganized to create parking lots and then fields located somewhere else. But that would be the first step in, in option one. We would be looking at uh, an SRC of 833 for the combined schools and approximately 117,000, just a little less, square feet for the new building. Once that building is complete, Chesapeake Terrace Elementary School would be removed and a new middle school designed for that site to, to accommodate the students at Sparrows Point Middle. We'd have approximately 92,648 square feet and an SRC of 626 for that particular school. Once the students, once the middle school students have left Sparrows Point to move into their new school, 
Sparrows Point High School would be totally renovated, additions added to it to make it like a new school for, for as strictly a high school. It would have approximately 233,000 square feet with an SRC of 1,255. And finally, Patapsco High School, we would look at constructing an addition or additions to bring that uh, school up to an SRC of 1,760 with a, with a proposed square footage of 282,657. So that's, that's option one. And as you can see, it's a lot of movement between, between the schools and, and a lot of construction to go on to meet the needs of these, these two high schools. Option number two, we would construct a replacement high school for Sparrows Point at the North Point Government Center site. We would then renovate Sparrows Point Middle School to make it strictly a middle school, and then we would construct additions at Patapsco High School. So these are the three, three schools, the three sites in play for option number two, Patapsco High School, North Point Government Site, and the Sparrows Point Middle and High School. So step number one in option two, they would raise the building, raise meaning tear down, the existing building on the North Point site. They would construct a replacement high school for Sparrows Point High School. Uh, that would be a, a, an SRC for Sparrows Point again of 1,255 with 223,390 square feet of new building for Sparrows Point High School. Once the, once the high school students have left Sparrows Point, then the existing building would be renovated and turned into a new, uh, essentially new middle school for Sparrows Point Middle to accommodate 626 students with uh, approximately 90, 90, a little less than 93,000 square feet uh, of space. And again, Patapsco High School would be looked at to get an addition or additions to bring it up to what it needs to be at, to, to reach the SRC of seven, 1760. Option number three, similar to option number two, we would construct a replacement middle school for Sparrows Point at the North Point Government Center site. Then we would renovate and add on to Sparrows Point High School as necessary to bring the SRC up, and then Patapsco High School would get similar additions to raise its SRC up. To option number three, here are the three sites. You have the Patapsco High School site, North Point Government site, and the Sparrows Point Middle and High School site. Again, North Point Government site, first step would be to tear the existing building down. We would build a design and build a new middle school on that site for Sparrows Point Middle. Those students would leave the Sparrows Point site and move to this school. And then Sparrows Point would be renovated into strictly a high school with additions and a total renovation, creating an at new like environment for the students there. Again, meeting the 1,255 SRC. And Patapsco High School, again, as I said, it's sort of a, the common thread throughout all these schemes that would get renovation and additions to, to reach the SRC of 1760. Option four, we construct a replacement middle school at General Stricker for both General Stricker and Sparrows Point Middle Schools. Then we would renovate and add on to Sparrows Point High School to make it strictly a high school, and then Patapsco High School would get its additions to raise its SRC. So here we show the General Stricker Middle School, its location, again Patapsco High School and Sparrows Point Middle and High School. The General Stricker Middle School, large site, we would look to see if we can fit the new middle school on there to accommodate both middle schools, both General Stricker and Sparrows Point in the new facility. We would be looking at a, a SRC of 1,476 with a proposed square footage of 218,744. Again, once the middle school students are relocated to the new facility at General Stricker, Sparrows Point 
would be renovated to become strictly a high school with additions and a total renovation to make it like, like new with a SRC of 1,255 and a proposed square footage of 23,390. And then finally, in option four, Patapsco would be, would be ha added on to with one or two additions to bring its SRC up to the 760 required. Option five, to construct a replacement middle school for Sparrows Point and General Stricker Middle Schools at the North Point Government Center site. We would then land bank the General Stricker Middle School for adaptive reuse at some time in the future. We would renovate and add on to Sparrows Point High School as necessary and then construct the additions at Patapsco High School. So the four sites here, General Stricker, Patapsco, the North Point Government Site, and Sparrows Point Middle and High School. So again, the North Point Government Site, first order of business is to remove the existing building, look at designing and constructing a new middle school for Sparrows Point and General Stricker on the site. We'd have an SRC of 1,476 and a square footage of 218,744. Once complete, the students from uh, Sparrows Point would then move over to this facility, opening up Sparrows Point as a high school. General Stricker would be proposed, repurposed in the future. And then Sparrows Point would have the additions or renovations required to make it a brand new high school with the SRC of 1,255. And then as through all the schemes, Patapsco High School would have its additions. Option six, probably the simplest one and the most uh, challenging. Uh, we would construct a replacement middle school for Sparrows Point Middle School at the Sparrows Point site. Once that's complete, we would renovate the Sparrows Point High School, turning it into strictly a high school, and then construct the additions at Patapsco High School as necessary. It's a very simple two sites, Sparrows Point and Patapsco. challenge here is to try to fit a middle school on the existing site which leaves the existing high school in place. Once that, once that middle school is constructed, the students would move over, the high school then becomes strictly a high school and would have additions and, and renovations required uh, to make it uh, as a, like a new school. So the, the, the uh, middle school would have an SRC of 626 and the high school would have an SRC of 1255. And then like all the schemes, Patapsco would have be studied to create its SRC at 760. And these, all of these schemes, we want you to know that depending on what we can do, these SRCs for these schools may, may go up, may go down a little bit, depending what we find we can develop on, on these sites. So just to go through them one more time, and again, this will be on the website for, for you to review. Option one, construct a replacement elementary school at Edgemere for both Edgemere and Chesapeake Terrace. That frees up Chesapeake Terrace for a new middle school for Sparrows Point. That frees up the existing Sparrows Point middle and high school to become just a high school. And then Patapsco gets, gets, gets additions to, to raise its SRC as required. Option two, Construct a high school, a new high school for Sparrows Point at North Point Government Center site. You renovate Sparrows Point into a middle school and construct the additions at Patapsco. Option three, construct replacement school for Sparrows Point Middle at the North Point Government Center site. You renovate the, the existing building at Sparrows Point into a high school and construct additions at Patapsco. Option four, Construct a replacement middle school for General Stricker and Sparrows Point at General Stricker. Renovate and add on to Sparrows Point to make it strictly a high school. Construct additions at Patapsco. Option five, construct a replacement middle school for Sparrows Point and General Stricker at the North Point Government Center site. We would land bank General Stricker for future adaptive use. We would renovate and add on to Sparrows Point High School and construct additions at Patapsco for, for its needs. And option six, 
we construct a replacement middle school for Sparrows Point at Sparrows Point. We would then renovate and add on to the Sparrows Point High School and then construct additions at Patapsco High School. Good evening. My name is Paul Taylor. I'm the Director of Strategic Planning for Baltimore County Public Schools. First, I'd like to apologize if any of you are having any technical difficulties with this session. The session is being recorded, and you can access that recording on our website. We're now going to start the question and answer session for this evening. I invite everyone to type in your questions and feedback into the chat box, and we'll try to answer as many as we can this evening. We've received a number of questions with regarding the timeline for the different options. At this point in the process, we have not yet determined the timelines. We've received another question with regard to potential of a new high school at North Point and shifting high school boundaries. Yes, once we put in a new school that does not e exist, we will adjust the boundaries of all the surrounding high schools that are near that site to balance the enrollment among all the high schools and the new one. There's a question about the involvement of the community. There is going to be another community engagement session that will be held so that we can share, the JMT can share the various options and your analysis of those options with the public. And at that point in time, we will request additional feedback and more questions will be answered. We have a specific question regarding option six, and I'll read the question. If a new middle school is being built at Sparrows Point and the existing high school is being renovated and having new additions, where will the students come from to fill the additional classroom capacity that is created? Once we build a new school and add additions to an existing school that increases the capacity, a boundary process would take place. That boundary process would adjust the boundaries of the neighboring middle schools and high schools, depending on which school had increased capacity, and the boundaries would be adjusted to balance out the enrollment among the schools. Good evening again. So there's a question about how will the community be involved with this decision? Will there be a survey of community members again now that the options are spelled out? The purpose of this meeting is to get your input and then we'll get back to you uh, in another meeting, second meeting, to answer some of those questions and your suggestions. The next question is, was there supposed to be a discussion period? These su suggestions do not line up with suggestions given in the stakeholder engagement meetings. If, if there are additional suggestions, additional options, we encourage you to send it to us for the evaluation of those options by the consultant. The second meeting is scheduled for April 21st, and we'll be able to provide additional information based on the input we receive from you. Unfortunately, some of the questions that we have answered, you may not have been, you may not have been able to hear it, and we'll make sure that we post it on the website, so you'll have the questions and the answers to those questions. And if there's any additional information we can provide, we'll definitely share that with you on the website. So we have received some other comments about the quality of sound. We apologize, we apologize once again for the internet issues that we have nothing to do with, and we make a commitment that if you type your question in the chat box, we'll get back to you and your question and our response will be posted on the website. Again, it is, a, it is our commitment to you that we'll get your question we'll, and we'll provide a response to you 
on, on the website. Again, our apologies for, for technical issues that we do not control. 